Good afternoon everybody. It is 12 minutes past three in the afternoon on Sunday the 21st of July and it's time for today in my bujo. So how are you? I'm up to date on that. I did not water my garden last night because um, it got a lot of water the night before due to the storms. It will get watered again later today. 8,624. I'm just going to wait for it to sink because it doesn't seem too sure about this. 8,716. Yeah, I didn't do anything else last night. I was a bit tired by the time I'd sort of finished up and was on my way to bed. Uh, right. Oh, excuse me. I've got a neighbour over the road who's hammering away at something or other. So let's change the pen. And then my next door neighbour, her daughters have been out in the garden and um, I was just getting dressed actually when they first went out there and uh, they're out there playing like old 60s and 70s music that started off with the Beatles and I was like yay dancing around my bedroom to help because <laughs> I had all my windows open I could hear them. <laughs> They'd be mortified if they knew that I could hear them. <laughs> I felt like going out there and shouting good choice girls good choice. <laughs> So, right, it's cloudy with a patch of sun, like I say. I'm aware, um, I don't know if anybody noticed, I didn't actually fill in the temperatures yesterday. Um, I did it last night when I was watching back my video, because I'd forgotten to do it, and I was like, ah, oh, shit. And I was watching back my video last night to, uh, as I was editing it, ready to upload it, and I was there going, what does that say? <laughs> oh, look, there's my nose. Yeah, I was there going, oh, what What does that say? What does that say? Because I'd forgotten to write it in, and um, I... I think, think it said 20 over 12, so that's what I went for. Today it is 21 over 17, but it's lovely outside today. Darren and I have been to the supermarket. I hate going to the supermarket at the best of times, let alone with a hyperactive four year old on a Sunday afternoon. My ideal time to go to the supermarket is 3 a.m. I haven't been able to do that for years though. And um, it just, pe oh, people fuck me off in supermarkets. I go to Audi quite a lot because there's an Audi down the end of my road. And um, you know, some of the things you can get in there are really, really nice. I like shopping in there. One of my most favorite ever dishes in there, hang on. It is, if I can find the packaging. I think I stuck it in here, didn't I last? It's not nasty going. Ooh, I'm gonna have to find it. I could have sworn it was there. Ah, uh, yeah, there it is. It is um, chicken en croute. This is it, and it comes with two of these inside, and they're delicious. And I can only find this in Audi, and it's really, really nice. You stick it in the oven for about 20 minutes, and it's delicious. So, um, yeah, so I had to go to Audi. There's a couple of other little bits I get in there. I get a lot of Daryl's stuff in there. He likes a lot of the stuff that we buy in there. And um, it was absolutely heaving. But I hate that they only have a checkout at either end. Okay, so they've got, they've got seven checkouts in there. Number one and number seven is open. Now, I came down the last aisle, which is in line with number one. And I get down there, and there's already one woman loading onto the conveyor belt and one woman behind her with a full trolley. So I glance down to number seven. That one's got three people waiting. So I thought, for fuck's sake. Number two has just closed. Checkout two has just closed. So I thought, for God's sake. So I'm standing there waiting with my basket. I've got a basket full of stuff. And I'm standing there and I'm like, this is bloody stupid that they do this. They open for like, literally to cut down the queue. And then um, they close the extra checkouts down again. The only one that stays open is the one nearest the door, which is number seven. So I'm sort of standing there muttering away to myself. Two or three people join the queue behind me. At that point, the light on number two goes green and the announcement comes over. Ladies and gentlemen, we're now opening checkout number two. Great, Daryl, go quick, you know. So I moves over there. The guy standing behind me, him and his wife have got two trolleys. One trolley has nothing in. So he literally pushes in front of me, then reaches back to grab his wife's full trolley to push her in and I was just like are you fucking kidding me and his wife obviously didn't hear what I said and she was like babe move aside and let this lady through she's only got a basket and the look 
he gave me, I was like, you fucking jerk. Do you know what I mean? You were going to push, you were behind me to start off with and you were going to push in just to gain less than 10 minutes at the checkout. And while I was standing there unloading my stuff onto checkout, they ended up having to open two extra checkouts as well to cope with the sudden queue of people. I, was, I couldn't believe it. I really could not believe it. So the temperature 21 over 17, sunrise was 5.15 and sunset will be at 5 past 9 tonight. I need to turn the gain on my mic down just a wee bit. I angled it ever so slightly because um, I noticed last week that the game was really quiet and I noticed it's because the mic was literally pointing down like that but it's over here out of shot and I thought that was why so I've just tipped it ever so slightly and now it's really picking up I'm hitting red every time if it's too loud I'm not going to adjust my volume okay and I'm not going to adjust the, what I normally upload the music at so could you tell me in the comments please if I'm too loud or if the music's too loud or you know is 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 it is it all correct does it all sound all right because I have over the past sort of couple of weeks been during the editing process upping mine because I've been sat there and I can't I know I mutter when I'm here and I'm going uh, and I know I know that I mutter so I've had to turn my bit up and I'm gonna try and be very conscious not to mutter anymore but I need to know whether my regular talking, okay, I'm a little bit loud at the moment, um, is, is it too loud? Do I need to adjust the gain on my mic? Because if so, Alex, because it's over there and I can't reach it. So, so I would have to get Alex down here to twiddle knobs while I talk and he's adjusted it, but it's hitting in the red on my doohickey on the computer screen. And I don't know whether it's supposed to do that or not. Because, I mean, the, even when I'm just sat here really quiet watching it, it's it must be picking up the TV in the other room because it's jumping. And if I talk like this, I'm in the yellow. But that feels like I'm talking really, really quietly. But if I talk at my normal tone, which is this, it is going into the red and I don't know whether that's too loud. Stuart always used to say to me, you shout when you talk. And I quite probably do, but I'm used to talking over a bunch of children, so, you know. Right, day face cream, I had, I have done that rather. I was gonna wear makeup and then I thought, well, it's only Sunday and I wasn't actually planning on going anywhere until I got up and realized we had no dog food, no cat biscuits and uh, nothing for dinner. So basically we were all gonna starve <laughs> unless I got out of bed. Um, Alex and I had a discussion last night, uh, not got out of bed, but got off my ass and went to the shops. Alex and I had a discussion last night about um, healthier eating. It's a discussion we have on a regular basis. And basically what it comes down to, he obviously needs to eat healthier now that he's doing wrestling and all of that lot. And I need to eat healthier because I'm at the heaviest I've ever been. I weigh over 200 pounds and I'm not happy about that. Um, I... I walk a lot, you guys know that. I do a lot of stepping for my group and all that lot. I do at least six miles every day, according to my Fitbit, which while I know is that is not, you know, bang on definitive, it's still a lot more than I was doing five, six years ago. Um, that's my fault, I dropped that. And um, I want to lose weight. It's not about how much I weigh, it's more about the size in my clothing. And... Um, my clothes are getting a bit tight so i said to Alex, you know we need to portion control is 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 one of the issues i mean I, w I will be honest this i usually buy two packs of this and we have a pack each this is two of these pies and these aren't little itty bitty pies these are you know these are <laughs> and now to be fair i i normally serve it up with veg i mean usually have that and some veg and i have a bit of um oh i forgot to buy it. some um pickled red cabbage in with mine i love pickled cabbage and oh, I forgot to bloody buy some shit um, and a little bit of mayo just to you know and that's what I used to do it with and then one night I served it up with chips and, and or fries if you're in the States and um, Alex was like oh my god they taste so fucking great with chips and it but it's a really heavy meal now on nights where he's training he needs lighter meals because he can't eat a, you know it's like I was going to do bolognese tonight but he's oh these don't spread 
um, but he has training tonight and he doesn't want to sit and eat, he loves bolognese, he doesn't want to sit and eat a humongous bowl of bolognese and pasta and then go off to training and, and, and be like majorly fit and active for the sort of following two hours. So I, um, I bought a few smaller things that, you know, he can take his pick when he gets home. So, you know, and I said, we should start doing Slimming World meals more often. I don't cook from scratch I used to and um, it to be honest standing out in the kitchen for any amount of time hurts I suffer from chronic pain and I just I just don't cope with it so we a lot of freezer type based meals you know it's like that chicken on crew that's I should check that and then it's done you know vegetables in the steamer or steam fresh microwave veg I don't I don't give monkeys yeah, it's better than chips <laughs> and fast food, junk food sort of thing, you know. Um, so, part, part of my issue is portion control. And the other part is is that I love junk food. I, I, I could live on it. I could eat chips every day, every single day. Absolutely love it but i do i do like to eat veg you know so i said we're gonna go and slim in well we need to cut down we need to cut out a lot of the crap as well we need to cut out eat booze and 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 fizzy drinks and all that lot but my issue is is that i'm a caffeine addict and um if i cut caffeine completely i will end up with a migraine from hell and it's the summer holidays i can't i haven't got time to have a migraine basically so um instead of buying the big bottles of pop and he and I drinking sort of one of those in a day I've bought cans and I it's 3 30 p.m and that's all I've had today I've almost finished it and I'm going to try and do it that, that is my only can of fizzy today and then I will do that for the next few days and then I will try and do it every other day and we'll go from there so wish me luck right um is it that one no i always pick up the wrong fucking pen do you guys do that right yeah. so we're doing the everyday enchantment tarot what do you see we're looking at it while i've been waffling come on what do you see Oh, isn't he loved? <laughs> um, a king is usually, um, as is shown here, a father figure. It doesn't necessarily mean your dad um, or your um, uh, your sperm donor or whatever you, you know, however you want to describe the man who is responsible for you being here. Physically responsible, shall we say. Um, it... it it's describing a father figure you know um you you might be like my children and grew up with a stepdad um you might be like me and grew up with your biological father um you might be like um good uh he was adopted somebody somebody's adopted that watches my I'm pretty sure it's good uh, if not i apologize um but you might have had an adoptive family or a foster family or you know or you might have an older brother who looks after you or a teacher or you know somebody in your life who looks after you looks out for you protects you um he's not afraid to get his hands dirty look look at him he's covered in paint but he's had a whale of a time doing it and he's loved everybody loves him everybody even the dog look even the dog loves him he's covered in paint and whatever else and he's he's grown plants and you know i don't know who this is for me anymore um my father passed away as you know 12 years ago now last month um and although my children are adults they're obviously not father figures to me and they're my children and they're still babies to me so I, I was talking to my mum about this today and I said oh yeah you know and Carl and the other kids and then I was like I can't call them that they're nearly 30 but they are the kids to me um 
so in, in, in my view when I think of my children I see I, they're small people they're not they're not I don't want to say reliable because that's that's the wrong term that I can rely on them you know I could phone any of my children at any time of the day and I, I, I need you for something or other and they would come or they would be there if there was an emergency or anything like that I'm guessing I'm sort of talking I, I haven't got anybody old except my mum there's me and my mum and that's pretty much it really you know that's a bit sad isn't it <laughs> so this is obviously for one of you there's somebody in your life that you've looked at this card and you've immediately thought of somebody show them you love them today okay that person's important to you and you're important to that person um, they're always there for you and they're always going to be there for you and they love that you love them so go and tell them that I wrote an older man a father figure someone to rely on who is always there for you Right, from midnight till about two and then from three to about half past seven but, oh, I paid for it this morning I woke up and saw back where does that happen you know I'm not putting any pressure on it I'm relaxing or trying to And I've tried beds of all types before anybody jumps in and says, oh, it's your bed. It's not my bed. <laughs> I've had harder beds, soft beds. You name it, I've had it. The bed I've got now is only, what, three years old. So it's not even that it needs replacing. Because, you know, I literally got it. Um, Daryl was... Not even a year old, I don't think, when I got it. I remember when um, when I first got the dog. <laughs> I used to sleep on the floor. It was the only place that was actually comfortable. I used to, saw the kids go to bed and I was ready for bed. I used to get a king size duvet. <sighs> Fold that in half and lay that down on the floor, put pillows down. Another duvet over the top. And then I would sleep on top of the king size duvet under the top duvet. And I slept like that for years. Years and years and years. The kids were. God, they were quite young. Well, they must have been. Callie was preteen, I know that much. Because when I started doing that, she basically slept in my room because there was this massive bed in there that wasn't being used. And um, yeah, I used to sleep on the floor. Did that for a long, long time. Yeah, up until about, I did it for about three years, I think it was. Yeah. Tried it all, me. All, all different firmnesses, all different, you know, I, I slept sitting up to try and take the pressure off my back to see if that would help. It didn't. <laughs> yeah, you name it, I've done, I've done it all with my back. I've also had all various different forms of um, physio, physiotherapy, hydrotherapy, acupuncture, chiropractic. I've even been to Chinese herbalists, people, and they've done the hot tubs on the hot little glass pots. You look like you've been attacked by a sucker monster from Star Trek afterwards. I've had those. Um, yeah, I've been to pain management clinics. Yeah, you name it, I've been there, mate. Done it all. Right, I cleaned the loo. I did not strip the beds again. God, I need to do that. I'm going to have to do it tomorrow. I will do it tomorrow because I'm going to be home all day tomorrow because the guy's coming to do my floor, which is awesome. So I will do that tomorrow. I haven't got any other laundry to do, so that's... I'm going to mark that because I have checked for laundry but I don't have enough for a load 
I will have tonight though because Alex will have wrestling. Um, I haven't done the office. <laughs> Oh, I need to go up and give the bathroom a white round, although I think I might leave that until tomorrow as well, because like I said, the flooring's going in, so there's no point in me doing it when I've got a workman coming tomorrow, it's going to make a fucking mess. So that's all going to get left, unfortunately. I might go and get the bath mats and chop those in the laundry in a minute. Uh, right. Okay, um, I don't have anything to tick off because I've done it all. Yay me. So let's jump forward into... <laughs> she's so sweet. She's a bitch, but she's sweet. She's a bitch, trust me. Right, I am going to get this all sorted and then I will be back and I'm gonna cut it all in and everything. Um, the prompts are a lightning scar, as in Harry Potter style. Now, I've literally just drawn a lightning bolt and I am debating on whether to color it in gold because that's what color lightning is, or whether to do it red because that's what color it was on Harry Potter. It's gonna have to be red, isn't it? Because it's supposed to be a scar, so I will do that. The other prompt was New York State and um, my geography is not fabulous especially my american geography so um i have done it off of a picture and i really really hope you like it <laughs> galena galena is commenting on my yesterday's vlog what she say shout out to galena oh, i've got quite a few comments on that one <laughs> Let's have a look, because <laughs> some of these make me laugh. Uh, love the set of cards, says Amber. Love all those sevens, hun. Sandy, I don't think I could have my face pierced. Could stand to have my face pierced. It looks cool on you, but I would not do the. I could not do the earring thing. So I don't. If I could do the face one, it looks so cute. But I'm not a jewelry type person. Hope your Sunday's a good one. I have had pierced on my face so far. I used to wear an eyebrow ring. I took that out about three years ago, and I wore that for twenty odd years. Um, I've had that nostril pierced. I'm seriously thinking about getting the other side done. Um, I've had my septum pierced, but I'm not wearing that at the moment, mainly because well, I put a hoop in it and the hoop moves and it irritates the septum. <laughs> I've had my upper lip pierced and my lower lip pierced, and now my dermal on my cheek. I did think actually earlier on when I moved my face under the camera. Can you see it? There you go. It's got like a the colour of the surrounding bit, let's see if I can change the focus. Oh, there you go. How cool is that? The power of technology. Okay, see all my grey hairs and my psoriasis? Yeah, the colour surrounding, that's not blood, that's called blurple. It's like a mix of blue and purple. So you can see how it sits there. And somebody asked, um, I think it's Amber, you asked me on my Instagram. I've got a stray eyelash look. Wow, isn't that cool? Um, how it stays in. The, the little foot part is under there. So it's coming this way. And it's literally, it is like about three millimetres, four millimetres long. And then there's another little foot part that's even smaller going that way. And what she does is she uses a punch to go into the skin little round little round sort of punch like that goes into the skin and then she angles it to make a bit of space and then she removes the <laughs> I can imagine everyone's gonna get ew now she moves removes the bit of skin that she's literally just punched because obviously she's made a hole and then she tucks the big foot under the skin and then she has to wiggle it and all of a sudden you'll feel the pop as the little foot at this side pops under the skin oh there you go so that's how it sits yeah. and then i've got oh yeah i've had i've had that lip pierced as well there i think i had one that side for for a while as well um throughout the years <laughs> Um, that's, so that's where my eyebrow was pierced, look. 
Yes. Yeah, that's when my eyebrow was pierced. And I wore that for a long, long time. Let's see where the bottom of it come out of there. It's really hard doing it. It's like trying to do it in a mirror. Um, that one I had done just before Daryl's first birthday. That one I've had for quite a long, long time. Yeah, so, so there, there, there you go. <laughs> so thanks for that, Sandy. When Amy can't sleep, she watches me. His kisses for sweet boy. Thank you, sweetheart. And Glenn had to watch this like three times because people kept interrupting me. <laughs> well, oops. I just said hi to you because on today's vlog. Because I was filming when you commented here. Crying with laughter. So there you go. <laughs> so there you go. Quick, a quick into all of my piercings. I bet you're fascinated now, aren't you? Not. Right. That's it. That's all gone for today. I'm on water or tea and I drink decaf tea. So I have done for years. So let's get on with it. And um, yeah, the music will keep playing and I'll be back in a wee while. I used the, I don't know how you pronounce it, is it Thalo, Thalo Blue from Amanda. Wow, shit girl, this goes a long, long, long way. <laughs> I used my larger brush to sort of fill it up quick. And it just kept going and going and going. It's a fab colour. It really is. So um, <laughs> we were talking in Amanda's live last night about paper and which paper everybody likes and it's become quite known that i really really love this paper now i don't know how if you can see how wet that is guys look how much it's green gold but it's not come through okay it's ghosted a little bit but what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave this to dry today i'm not going to use a heat gun on it i'm not gonna help it along okay i am literally just gonna sorry leave it there now to dry and um i am going to do an evening edition and i'm going to show you what that looks like once it's dried okay it's i mean it's so damp that i think i could have lifted the paper and uh, the water would have run i mean if i close it that is that is going to transfer it is that wet so yeah i mean it is now bang on four o'clock okay that'll be dry in about an hour but I will come back tonight once Daryl's in bed and show you what it looks like once it's all dried off because the first time I used Tomway I did it on a live and um, You know a couple of you were like oh yeah try fountain pens and what's it like with this and what's it like with that and you know i used it for a whole month and i was surprised at how well it um it survived i really was i'm turning it over so that i don't lean on the um and the next day when i came back to it i think it was i, I painted a, m m a moon or something and I really laid a lot of water down on it. Um, I used a sparkly paint and it just yeah, really laid a lot of water down. And when I opened the book up the next morning, it was like you couldn't tell. And that's what will happen with this. It will be crinkly for today. 
but I'll shut my book tonight. I won't do anything special. I will just shut the book and come tomorrow. This will be nice and flat. But now you know why I don't journal until both sides of the sheet have been painted because if I would chucked all that water down, it would have just pulled the ink through the page. I've had that happen. So, and that's also why I put this bit of paper down because I don't want to pull any ink off of here. So, yeah. So that's it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go and wait for my son to text me to let me know he's on his way home. And um, yeah, I'll just, uh, I'll just leave it there. I need to add in, I've got a few bits over here that I'm saving for scrappy type. I think I'm gonna add my chicken on croup bit in. I've got that to add in. I've got Daryl's nameplates from pre, <laughs> excuse me, I've got hiccups from preschool to add in. I've got Ice's little bow, which is going to go, I'm just going to leave up there a sec, which will go on the day that she had her hair cut, which was that day. So I've got the little bow to go with her picture and loads of rooms. So, but I'm not going to put this in until the end of the month because it's so lumpy. And then I've got Daryl's little sports day badge and that will go in on when the sports day this one it's going to go here i've even written their blue team badge okay so that will go that will go there but all of this stuff it it, it adds to the makes writing hard so i'm saving it all in in a little pile here oh i've just not mary poppins over um i'm saving it in a wee pile here of things to go I need a little box to put it all in of things that I want to put in here and um, I definitely want to put this in because I'm cutting it down from two to one and then I've also got what else have I got over here oh, I've got some chocolate wrappers I've got some tearing that Daryl did at preschool I've got some tissue paper I've got a box of my tea bags see decaf tea box of my tea bags I've got a club I love clubs um, this came on some clothing that I bought from a plus size clothing company I've got this that I want to stick in so Wendy madam I've got this book of Isle of White places to go and eat you know come on Wendy you keep telling me I need to do scrapbooking and shit but I don't know what to do with it all I've got this. I love these as well. This is something else. We eat two of these. And they're they're, they're not small by the, you know, they're like that across the top. And they're full. I mean, they do look like that. You know, normally when you, you buy a pie and um, <laughs> Gerda's just, Gerda has responded. She went, woohoo, I get a shout out. You do though, you get a shout out. Yeah, I mean, these things, they're, they're like this deep and they are full absolutely full but oh god they're so lovely but this, again this is something else we need to cut down on so come on wendy oh yeah i've got leaflets from the bus museum tapnell farm so I've, I've already looked into how much it costs to go tapnell farm per child is 10.95 <laughs> and then um i would get in for 7.95 because i'm classed as disabled and then if I take another adult, that person gets in free as my carer. So I'm rather hoping that me um, and Callie could take Daryl one day. Um, my mum can also get in for 7 95 but she's not capable of walking around it. But, and I want to go, I need to go on my own first to see how disabled friendly it is, you know. Um, but yeah. So this is actually get going out of date. So they do like a summer sunset shindig, which is every Thursday until 9 p.m. Stay and play all day as the farm park stays open late for its spectacular sunset shindigs. Expect circus skills and showmen, live music and a licensed bar, delicious pizza, plenty of play and the most wonderful sunset on the island. Um, open until 8 p.m. Stay and play. Oh, that's... Oh yeah, that's something different. So that's every Thursday until 9 p.m. Which is get, getting about right. A sunset is about 9 p.m. now. And then on Mondays it does a, a, a stay and play late. Every Monday until 8 p.m. So you can stay. You, no extra money. That You just pay your fee going first thing in the morning. You could be there all day. And I've heard from other mums that it is a day. 
there is so much to do you take a picnic and you are there for the day so that sounds pretty freaking awesome there's go-karting autumn weekend fun that's just for his birthday there's a halloween type doohickey tapnell's famous magical christmas experience see i want to put this label in this in here as well oh there's the monkey haven see i've already looked at prices for that as well there's the isle of white monkey haven that is he would pay 8.95 to get in there i've got to pay a pound more as a, as a disabled i like tapnell because it means that we can get somebody else in free but they do annual memberships look oh this is for the bus museum um which is a bit stupid as it's free it's free to go to the bus museum Oh, that's if you want to be a member. Okay, that's fine. Um, I don't know whether Tapnell does anything like a... Let's see, there's things about the restaurants and the cafes. There's a pizza place. There's an ice cream hut. If you've bought a picnic with you, look out for our designated picnic areas on the map. Oh, wow, hang on. <laughs> and then look at this. This is, this is Tapnell Farm. So there is, you know, an eco lodge, there's a play barn, there's a cafe, there's an animal barn, there's a straw bale adventure barn, there's a meeting point, a gift shop. There's a lot to do. And I'm assuming everything inside is free once you're in there. Oh, it tells you what you've got to pay additional charges for. Mini golf. Is that the only thing? That's the only thing. Well, mini golf is fucking boring, isn't it? They've got go karts and wallaby walkabout, meerkat enclosures. There's the hatchery, meet the animals, animal theatre, bugs and bees. Wow! Wendy, I need to know how to put this in my journal so that I can open it right out. Do I sort of stick it like on one of these ones? If I stick it in on one of these, then I can still open it right out, can't I? That sounds about right. Come on, Wendy, you keep saying you want to... How do I stick all this shit in? Teach me. Oh, master. <laughs> she's not going to watch this for a couple of days, and she's going to sit there and go, what the fuck? <laughs> so, right, um, that has almost dried. And I've only been waffling at you for about 10 minutes or so. But you can already see that the back of the paper is a lot less crinkled than it was. And I haven't even shot my book yet. So that's why I love this paper. And Jolene, the fantastic Jolene, and I love her loads, is sending me the slightly higher grade one. I, I can get the higher grade one, but I have to get it imported from the States. And um, I'm could be subject to um tax and fees and all that lot and um royal mail are assholes because they will pay your customs fees for you which is 20 percent of you know whatever i pay but then i have to pay them eight pounds for the privilege of doing so um that's about 10 12 dollars just for them to pay my fees for me and my fees on 15 pounds is only going to be about three quid that's less than five bucks why should i pay you eight eight pound for doing <laughs> you know so um if this becomes a regular thing i'm, I'm gonna have to send jolene some money for doing it <laughs> but she's sending me a couple of packs to play with and the really cool thing is the artist grade version this is 50 this is the sheet i've got 52 gsm it says it's white but it's not it's not white you guys know that this is not white. i've shown you um there you go that's white oh you can't you can't even see that in this lightest that's annoying um but the artist grade is a pure white and it's 68 gsm i believe so it's ever so slightly thicker so i'm actually really looking forward to playing with that but i'm going to be really good and use up all of my um all of my other stuff first so yeah but Wendy, I've also got a receipt and I want to keep this. It's for Kerry socks. I made socks for Kerry. Um, so that needs to go in there. I just basically I just end up sticking stuff in the middle because I don't know how to stick it in any other way. I did a tip in in last month's not last month's months before. 
because it's stomped on my paper. I went that way, but it was too heavy for the paper. And I'm not giving up my Tomo paper so that I can stick things in there. I don't like things that go that way. I like the idea of pages. That's why basically everything gets stuck in the middle. That's why I can see me sticking this Tatnall Farm one in the middle. Because then it would just go like another page. That's the end, you know? It's the only way I can think of to do it. So, yeah. If you are into scrapbooking or even junk journaling, who should I be watching online? I've... I gabbled at you all loads i won't do an evening edition don't worry that's dry guys it's been what 10 minutes you saw how much water i put on that that's been 10 minutes how wrinkled is it it's not it's flat that's lovely that's it um yeah so scrapbookers junk journalers and all that lot who should i be watching okay i'll tell you who i do watch i watch um shabby dabby doodah she's one that i do watch uh maremi small art i've told you guys about her before um who else do i watch hang on crafty cat i've just discovered her um missy widden scrappy wife inky quill i watch all of them i also watch um dearly d she does um i think you guys call it pocket she does it all like my, my uh the uh the cards journaling cards like those um the, these kind of things i'm not turning it over because it's got wendy's address on the back that's why it's there um yeah like journaling cards but they go in pockets oh god pocket scrapbooking is that what it's called I watch her she does that and I, I really enjoy that missy does that quite a bit as well but who else should i be watching i need to go through all the people i watch because a lot of them don't upload that often so yeah who should i be watching guys for scrapbooking junk journaling um oh who else is it? i watch somebody who's does who does junk journaling and she's just done a series of like journaling in 10 minutes or something who was it she's got a lovely oh yeah hannah cloth yeah i like watching her as well i don't know if i've pronounced her surname wrong and if she ever watches this video which you know she's not gonna watch someone like me but if she ever does i apologize i only know how to pronounce her first name because she writes it on a board and she writes yo dash hannah wipes it out and then writes her name how it should be spelled which is we would say johanna um but she pronounces it johanna so she's obviously the scandinavian there somewhere or other but she's got a lovely voice and i like watching her um i don't know whether you would call that scrapbooking or junk journaling but i actually really really like what she's been doing lately um can you see my dog she's doing what we call itchy face and this is when her face itches and she has to roll about all over the floor or in her bed making a right fucking muppet of herself have you quite finished Yes, I'm talking to you. YouTube was watching you showing your belly off to the whole world. They were. Everybody was watching. Were, were you having a rolly bout? Come here then. Come here. Come here. YouTube saw your belly. Say that, say that. I'm going to make you bigger so YouTube can see you properly. Say hi. Say hi. This is my bubby. Mm, she smells nice because she went to the group this week. Do you? Oh, she shakes. She shakes when she's stressed. She doesn't like being picked up very much now. She used to love it. She used to sit on my lap all the time. But as she's gotten older, she doesn't like it as much. All right, all right. There you go. See? You like being on the floor, don't you? See, she's there now. She's all happy. She'll jump up at me. But she doesn't actually like... Sorry, I'm not flashing you my negligee. Or my lingerie. <laughs> um, she doesn't like being picked up. I don't know why. It's just something... As she's grown older, I think she's where she's a little bit arthritic all in her shoulders and that, she... Um, she sort of stresses when you go to put her down that you might drop her. And I think that's, that's why she's a bit about it now. And she's been like that now for a couple of years, so, which is a bit of a shame, but there you go. Right, I've gabbled away at you. I normally save this kind of thing for lives, but 
Oh wow, that's made this well over an hour long. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> yeah, so come on, give me some people to watch. I've sort of caught up with everybody that I've found lately, and um, I'm a bit bored now. And um, I was, I do watch Genevieve Designs, and I was sort of looking forward to it, but I'm not majorly in love with this new cabinet thing she's built. I'm tempted, but then I'm like, I've got a shit ton of drawers, and they're not all full yet. So, <laughs> so I might wait for Christmas when she does like 50% off and get it then. I know she's just done 25% off, but I'm greedy. So, yeah. So come on, who should I be watching? Why should I be watching them? Who can you recommend? I'll watch Joy as well. I don't think Joy watches me anymore. She used to. So, yeah. I've got, I bought a typewriter because I wanted to do more scrappy type things and, and I haven't really used it. It's like I want to use tags, right? I bought um, some dies because I love tags. So I bought these and I've used them to do literally to make a gift tag. <laughs> I made some socks for one of the girls in my Fitbit group. She asked me like a year ago if I could make her a set. And she's had a, a hectic fucking year, guys. Um, really, really hectic. So I like buckled up I said well yeah they're good but they're gonna take me off because I'm you know I've got 10 other projects on the go she was like yeah well whenever whenever you know I said, I'll pay you for them and I was like no no you won't you know because I'm not rushing to do them and um she's had a couple of life-changing events happen this year um the most recent one I only found out about after I sent the socks but I made a really nice gift tag out of um I used dark blue card and um and this pretty paper. This was a pad that I think it was Gemma sent me this. I'm really sorry if you guys send me shit and then I go, I can't remember who sent me this. Yeah, it was that paper. It, it's nothing personal. I have the crappiest memory in the world. But yeah, I made, I used the biggest one and I, I and I made a die and I just wrote on the back that, you know, how lovely I thought she was and all of that lot. Hi YouTube. Hi YouTube. Please don't pull my curtain. And, um, and your bathroom is finished. So can I watch another? In a minute. And I backed it with this blue okay, card. Toy, and then on some just white copy paper, I cut out a couple of sizes smaller and I stuck that on. I need to get her to send me some photographs, but I've posted it and I haven't told her I've posted it. So I'm waiting for her to message and go, oh yeah, I got it. And then I'm going to say, can you send me some photos of the tags, please? Because I forgot to actually do that. And I was really pleased with them. But I want to use tags in my journaling, which means I sort of need to fill my page up more so that I need somewhere else to do my journaling because I don't, you know, that's something else I want to play with is I bought a doily tag. I bought a tag, a doily um, die. And I've got a couple actually, but they're not as big as I was expecting them to be. This one especially was not as big as I was expecting them to be. But you know, I need to cut these out and see what these come out like. But where can I get doilies and stuff from? I know you guys you're all like bullet journalists and you're like why the fuck are you asking me but i am asking you so and i got those ta those dies and some little banner dies with little hearts in them which is so freaking cute and i've got all these dies and things and 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 i want to know how to make stuff and i know wendy's coming to see me in may but i want to know now so i can make things because i'm impatient <laughs> so yeah there you go, that is completely 100% dry. Look. See, nothing. Um, I love this paper, love it. And I've only been gabbling away for 20 minutes. I'm going, I'm really sorry. <laughs> there won't be an evening edition, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna go away and leave you all now. <laughs> and you can all go, thank fuck for that woman. <laughs> I'm actually gonna put a thing up when I start gabbling going I'm now just going to talk to you for 20 minutes feel free to stop the video <laughs> well, this is the time clicker thing uh, that's a handle off your bike no it's a time clicker thing it's a time clicker thing yeah oh because you've just been watching um crush crush it's a blue bunny rabbit and he goes on a time travel adventure and 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 the, the other one he there's two crushes, and then the other one turns into shark. Wow. 
could you say goodbye for me? Then we go to Well, you've got to say it all. Go on, you, you do it. Put your phones up. We love comments. We love comments. Yes, we do. Leave, leave us a comment. Click the book and then click the bell. Subscribe down below. And no pressure when I add new new contents. Yay! <laughs> Take it easy, guys, and I will see you in Monday's edition of Today in My Bujo. Bye. Bye.